What's up guys? It's kind of funny, about a week and a half ago, Greg's sitting over here, I'm at the office, and when I'm at the office, I need to use my time wisely because I'm never in the office and I had a ton of stuff to do. And Greg must have called me five times in a row and I kept swiping to the left, you know, like, <laughs> delete, 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 trying to keep focused. I'm like, I finally answered, I'm like, what's up? He's like, I need you over at the house right away. Well, I've got a bunch of stuff going on, what could be so important? He's like, the only thing I care about with this house, of course, is the, yeah, the pond. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian from Team Aquascape. I am here at the one and only Pond Guy's new pad. He made a huge, huge transition move from his large property out there in Wayne to a nice property here in Geneva. And it's actually a gorgeous house, but he's been here two weeks, which is two weeks too long for him not to have a pond. So myself, Corey, Ryan, and a huge amount of other contractors are gonna come out here and uh, transform his backyard space. Let me show you. <laughs> what we're gonna do. All right, I thought I'd show you guys the layout of this whole thing before I actually take you to the backyard. But this is his existing deck. These are his existing stairs. Because it's kind of a small, quiet backyard, we didn't want to do an enormous pod. I really wanted something that just kind of fit like right into this space in here. And I wanted to create more of an outdoor living space because this deck really isn't used for a whole lot. There's not enough grass for them to really do anything in the lawn, so we're gonna really minimize the amount of lawn and then good friend of mine good friend of aquascape matt from wasco nursery is coming out and gonna drop off a bunch of plants and we are gonna, gonna transform this whole backyard into something really incredible uh, the other thing greg has decided to work with is aqua blues so i love working with aqua blue boulders except when they're small and a lot of these are small so i've got a couple tricks we'll see if they work today and try to make these things look more to scale with the boulders we like to work with big large ones the really reason we're not working with big large boulders today is because this is our access. It's already super tight. The garbage can is in my way. We will definitely be on part of the neighbor's property for a little bit of it. And then we have a three foot gate that we have to squeeze by to get back in here. Well, my new neighbors are going to know me <laughs> after today. This is fun. This is my new house out in Geneva, Illinois. And we have a build upon day or days. We got two days out here. Basically going off of uh, what Brian thinks is best. Of course, I agree with him. He's the master designer. These guys just got here. We got all of our certified aquascape contractors yeah. from the Chicagoland area that are getting out here on a crisp autumn morning. And I think the guys right now are laying out the, looks like the patio. So it's a nice cute house down here, but it has a very tight backyard. So what say you, buddy? <laughs> Good morning. I'm excited. <laughs> I've already talked to all these people. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. I've done my <laughs> intro and everything else. Okay. But I'm um, always a little bit more challenged when, you know, we've got your ponds coming into a formal yeah. edge over here. We're going to use the stacked walls. Yeah. That's going to be cool. And so this has to be square because if your stacked walls aren't square to your house, when they start doing the patio, you end up with weird little sliver cuts. So we really need to make sure that this angle right here is perfect. Once we get that that done um, everything else will be easy All right then we can just connect this line to that okay so my backyard is a little smaller than my last one <laughs> I think your filter was bigger <laughs> So we're just here for uh, two years before we build our dream home, which I'm really dreaming about. But anyway, this is fun. This is a build a pond day. We've been doing these since 1996 when we built Ed's. And so this is just going to be a fun day hanging out with a bunch of cool guys and building our art, which is what I love. All right, Brian, you want to kick us off, buddy? Actually, come up here. Yeah. Yeah. How about the morning clap for Brian? <laughs> yeah. No, Daniel doesn't know this. This is his first time. Come on, Chris, you do it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Neighbors are oh my God, your poor neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> 
Two weeks. Oh my gosh. Two weeks without a pod. So it's kind of funny, about a week and a half ago, Greg's sitting over here, I'm at the office, and when I'm at the office, I need to use my time wisely because I'm never in the office and I had a ton of stuff to do. And Greg must have called me five times in a row and I kept swiping to the left. You know, like, <laughs> delete, 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 trying to keep focused. I'm like, I finally answered, I'm like, what's up? He's like, I need you over at the house right away. Well, I've got a bunch of stuff going on. What could be so important? He's like, the only thing I care about with this house of course is the yard the pond right <laughs> he's like i don't know if i should put it in the front yard the backyard what we should do i need some like just help me kind of walk through it what do you think we can do and you could tell he was totally out of his mind because he was just sitting in yep. a folding chair in the window yeah, it was a there, folding chair there was no other chair over there just staring out to the backyard i'm like well instantly we should put it in the backyard because i don't see him ever sitting on that front porch enjoying a pond with all the neighbors and everything else so we came back here the original design was to actually put something up close in here. Yeah, I was thinking so, waterfall up here and pond over here. So you've got this window that looks out over here. The challenge is when you have a raised deck, bringing the pond up close means you can't see it from inside. And still, to me, the king is the views from inside the house. Yeah. So when you really go inside, and this is why it's so important to go inside the house and look out a kitchen window, look out the kitchen table, and mm -hmm. look out from where your chair is gonna be. All of your eyes actually go to this back corner. So very, very rarely do we recommend doing this, but for this design, putting the pond in the back corner yep. actually makes sense. Because now when I put it back here, I'll have to build a retaining wall, but when I put it back in here, now I'm lined up with the kitchen window. If I aim it just right, there's an opening in the stairs off the deck. Yep, yep. You'll be able to see it there. And then most importantly, that big window over there where I can see you've already set up yeah, your chair. That's my sitting area. You'll be able to see it. Right, and then the kitchen window right there and uh, master bedroom right there. So everything drops this way. You still see it from inside the house. The other thing we want to do, and I 100% agree with you, this is not a yard that you, or a house you would buy if you had small children and you really wanted the kids to have room to play. Right. So instead of trying to save the grass, just turn this space into a big outdoor living area. Right now, these four chairs that are sitting up here are way too tight. If you put a grill over here, nobody's gonna wanna sit right here. So I said, we should really focus more on creating an outdoor living space out here and then figure out where the pond goes. So where Brett's sitting here will be, a, um, it's 10 foot by 20 foot patio. And then there's another patio that kind of comes in this way. It's all the same, but like another L that comes in this way with a little bit of a landing over here and then the pond is going to sit nestled up in that right hand corner right over in here this gives him an outdoor dining table two big comfy chairs to sit by the pond and then a pathway to go off into the side and the new fire rock that's going to go right next to the edge of the pond and we have to figure out that fire rock i'm still thinking <laughs> it's, it's a like, little yeah right it's still a little out of scale to everything else but we'll start digging in what we want to dig here and then bring that thing over and see if it makes sense or not there over here we'll figure it out yep i think with the amount of people we have to Today, we can get an awful lot done. It's two days out here. We're gonna also re-landscape everything. We need some privacy, so we've got some big arborvitaes coming in. Uh, we've got a retaining wall we wanna build back there. Illinois Brick should be bringing us our wall stone here pretty soon, so we've got a retaining wall we need to do. We have to rip down all of those plants. Uh, we're gonna just kinda, it's gonna be an old-fashioned barn grazing. Amen. Place, right? like, so we'll get this done, and hopefully we keep Carla happy. Yes. And when she gets back, <laughs> gets back in, she's surprised, because I know she's extremely worried nervous about uh, what we're all doing she, back here when even though this is kind of what we do for a living yes kind of <laughs> yeah so basically the biggest the biggest thing back here was that we wanted to increase the living space which is why the big bluestone patio and it's only going to be two years so we just gotta and when we, we talked about some getting some vertical elevation we're going to put some bowls back here right so i've got bowls and spheres and walls and i have no idea how we're going to use all that stuff i want some sizable type stuff in here and the challenge with aqua blues heavy um, big big aqua blues mean equipment and there's no possible way to get equipment back here so i can put in a sphere and get something that looks a little bit more sizable and more to scale with what we want to do in here without bringing in a three foot aqua blue right and so we'll use the aqua blues minimally we don't have a whole lot we're going to do our stack slate walls this edge of the pond right here so stack slate walls this way stack slate walls this way it'll drop straight down two and a half feet off of here then the patio will come and kind of leave it out over that and then spheres, bowls, aqua blues kind of up in this area 
with that retaining wall. The wall, we're gonna, we're gonna pull out these hydrangeas. The wall will probably start like back in here, go this way, and then just a quick little L this way. And then the waterfalls this way coming down into, into the pond. So really like this is the corner of the pond and we're only gonna be about six, seven feet over this way. We might do a little bit of a cove that comes in to get the skimmer set back over there far enough away from the patio that we can landscape in front of it to hide that fake lid. I think it's gonna go pretty quick. I was gonna bring the sod cutter out and strip all this grass off right away, but I think we'll just create a big muddy mess. And so we'll leave the grass while we're working and then tomorrow we'll strip this off. Or if we get to it today and we want to start digging this, all of it's getting hauled off. So yeah. It'll are be we pretty epic. saving the plants? No. If anybody wants... We are now. You want those? <laughs> Two miles away, yeah, I want those. <laughs> At that size, they'll be hard to fall and burlap, but yeah. you, you go get them. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to start doing here? Let's get these out of here. The other big thing we're going to have to do once we start getting this prepped and, and we need to dig our trench, you know, to get our base in for our wall and everything else. So we'll work on that. The other main thing we have to do is this wall has to be squared to those stairs. If they're putting in that bluestone patio and we get these little sliver cuts at the end, it's going to look silly. So we really want to make sure that this is at this is squared to that whole space over there so we started working on that but we'll double check that as we as we set those um stacks like walls in there so the goal is to get the pond built today let's build the pond i think we'll effortlessly build this pond it's not big we'll do it all by hand we'll play around with the walls and the bowls and see what makes sense and then we've got to locate your fire rock is really my biggest pickup right? okay oh well, come on Right on the edge. Put up there on the patio. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll dig that stuff out, free up some wheelbarrows, and uh, we'll just throw those away. And make yourself at home going in and out of the house. I don't care. What a difference a week makes. I'm uh, hanging out in beautiful 60 degree fall weather here in Chicago, back at the Aqua Gardens at Aqualand, and I am tickled pink because in Tuesday's vlog on the Team Aquascape channel, you're gonna see what uh, Brian and the certified Aquascape contractors created in my new backyard. I couldn't be happier. I knew I trusted Brian. I knew he would have a fantastic idea. I love the fact that he moved it to the back corner, and I can't wait to reveal that to everybody on the Team Aquascape channel on Tuesday. But I had one final announcement that I wanted to make on this vlog, and that is the winner of the Backyard Landscape Fountain Kit that Brian and I actually flew out and built for Laura at Garden Answer. And we had a blast out there with Laura. It's gonna be a great relationship with Aquascape and Garden Answer. And while we were there, we kind of impromptly decided that we were gonna give away Backyard Landscape Waterfall Fountain Kit with Laura, one of her viewers. And we decided to end the contest on October 31st, which just happened. So I'm happy and excited to announce that almost 20 thousand people entered that giveaway. She is a strong influencer out there. Uh, and we picked one randomly through a computer generation program. And it was Cheryl Weimer of Richmond, Virginia is the winner of the Aquascape Backyard Waterfall Landscape Fountain Kit. So we're gonna be shipping that out to Cheryl. Stay tuned, because we're gonna be doing more work with Laura. We're gonna be doing more giveaways next year. But I wanted to make that announcement at the end of this one. Check out Tuesday's vlog to see the finished one. Thanks to all the certified Aquascape contractors that came from all over Chicago. And of course, Brian, who came up with a spectacular modern design for a small water feature in our new backyard. I love my job.